Hi, hello, welcome to another Monster Train episode. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day today. I do want to say sorry for no episode yesterday. There's a pretty good chance, though, that a lot of you guys called me maidenless yesterday in response, so pretty fucked up, but whatever. No big deal. It's fine. It didn't hurt my feelings at all. Not even a little bit. Um, let's, uh, let's hop in here. Let's play a little train. Nothing really new to talk about. In general, things going pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like this clan combo here. Wormkin. Melting. Seems fine. Explosive. Uh, pretty good starting card. Kind of gives us a good a good line for playing... Uh, what's it called? Gives us a good line for playing Harvest, potentially. Echo Infusion is a strong starting card. Uh, I don't... I mean, we're playing Echo, right? So we're going to probably lean more towards an Etch build. In theory, but I don't, I don't feel like we have a, like, a, Melting doesn't seem to work well with Etch. They don't have any sweepers, so I'm a little worried there, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what our first, uh, our first thing is, and we will go from there. I think, what I personally think would be a pretty good start here, is finding a... Uh, big Sludge and going Marsh Lord. That feels like it'd be a pretty good line to me. Except it would be hard to kill units on our own force. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. Maybe we can get one strong... Or one or two strong consume spells and go Repeater here. We'll see what we get. Well, now... Now we go Echo Seedling, I think. And just, you know... Get whatever we get. Let's see here. Shellsmith versus Marsh Lord. I'm down to go Mass Etch, actually, now. With the Marsh Lord pick here and Echo Seedling, I'm down to go Mass Etch. We do need to find a better Etch card than uh, Soul Siphon. But we'll find it, I'm sure, eventually. Um, yeah, I like this pick. I actually feel strong to take the Divine Horde here as well. And Lightstone Casing, I feel like, is a pretty good uh, get here, if you ask me personally. Although, maybe we want Cleansing Water. Oh, maybe we want to go. Maybe we want to dip back into the harvest line, huh? And take like mold braces. I think we go lightstone. I think we go lightstone. We find one good consume card and we just pump it up big, and dupe it a few times. Maybe we'll see. Um, this seems like a pretty easy trial. We should be able to kill things pretty easily here, hopefully. Uh. Let's go. Train steward down. Echo right. Something like that here. Okay, it's a little. Maybe a little bit of a bold play here. Let's be a little greedy. I don't think we need 40 HP on each fly. Let's just, let's just worry about hatching them here. Let's get let's get this guy out of the, out of the uh, cocoon, huh? Uh, well, we we leak a little bit here, unfortunately, but not a, not a huge deal. Now we come down here, put you down. This does nothing, basically, but I guess it gives us a bit more damage top floor. Yeah, and we win this combat. We win this combat easy. Okay. Echo transfer. Like, you can't stop me. Ooh, draft infusion is interesting. Do we want to try... We don't have great burnout support. I don't think I think we're actually supposed to skip draft infusion here. I don't like it. I think I like I think I like drip fall more in this run. Which is kinda weird, but I don't know. Fight me. Uh I'm gonna see Bounty Stalker in this remnant banner and regret all my decisions, aren't I? But the question is what is our what is our best our best unit here? Wormkin I think has better units in the pool in general, right? Shards will carver is okay. First of kin would be amazing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to go right side. Merchant of Magic, we got some good holdover choices right now, too. 
permafrost less good but whatever look in the temple here seek stone oh man okay first of kin is beautiful yeah we're gonna go mass mass uh etch here i think and we're gonna i think take an intrinsic soul siphon here as well which seems like i feel like a, a, a okay card choice now it doesn't work well with echo seedling that's like a, a definite true but i don't know i think it'll be fine um we need another etch card with consume basically <laughs> We should also definitely surge stone. Absolutely surge stone here. Roll. You want to double stack anything? Not really. That looks good. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here. There's a value stone. Oh, it's extreme stone. Never mind. Okay, I thought there was a value stone here for some reason. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go turn one first of kin into egg and kind of just go. Is insane, I think. We're gonna go Marsh Lord 3. We're gonna take up every single consume spell we can find, and I think that'll be enough for us, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, does 10 armor matter here? I think it doesn't, because I think we're going to put the first of kin in front here and not have really any issues. Because Marsh Lord also kills backliners too. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Now, here's the question. Do you go... Here's here's what I think you actually do here. I think you do this. I think you just... You just Ember Drain yourself into Oblivion here. That's unfortunate. Didn't think about that, but whatever. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. Let's stall for a second there. We play a card yet? No? Okay, well. Frick you, buddy. How about that? <laughs> we take five. You just kill the crossbowman here. I think that's worth more. Okay. Save our boy. We take we take five more damage. Not terrible. It's got to be bounding echoes here. I love echo transfer. Don't get me wrong, but in this deck, it a hundred percent has to be bounding echoes. That we need to make intrinsic now. Then we're gonna be in a really good spot. I feel like this. We don't have room for the molten encasement really, so we're just gonna skip that. And. I think we skip this too, because I think we're I think we're just gonna end up taking the self infusion on first of kin here, if I had to guess. Although you know we do need to keep him alive on top floor. Currently we have no real way to do that. Maybe we go wickless baron and we just and we just kill our way to the top here. I kinda don't hate that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we take Wickless Baron for HP. And it's important to note that the, the infusion is less harvesting. But I think it... I, mm, I guess we have primitive molds to bring them back to. But we can't play them. Yeah, we have, I think we have to do Wickless Baron. I think it's a weird choice here, but I think this is the way to go. Now, for me, this is a pretty easy right side here, I think. Because we could use some unit upgrades for this first of kin. Hellvent, like, I don't know what we would Hellvent here. Probably, like, Bounding Echoes at this point. But even then, that's not that useful. I don't know. Tough choice here. Actually, kind of. Not, not, not as easy as I thought originally. Also, we don't have that much money. I think we still go right side. Let's get some Fire Health, which is cool, too. We get a Multi-Strike in the shop, because we're just straight up Gs. We have a, we have a Ring 5 Temple. I think we still do the Infusion here, because we want to guarantee that we draw the, uh... The first of kin ring one here. We're going to go high on shards. We're going to go very high on shards because we have an intrinsic here too. And we sort of need the intrinsic to make sure we get the bounding echoes in turn one as well. Okay. 
So now we have a good yeah, we have a, we have a really good line I feel like here. Okay. Hit the cavern. Oh, I was going to say, half. what are you doing here? But your rail spikes. Rail spikes are actually really good for us. Because the upgraded version of rail spikes do consume. That's very good news. Um. I think we're going to go, we're going to go tank eggs here. So... I think the way we play this is I think we go, we're losing a little bit of etch, but I think we do this and this, and then we play them down. So boom, 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 boom. We get a turn one hatch here. We get like a turn one hatch on everything right now. On all of our, all of our various worm boys. A little of this. Put this back here. The sooner we get rail spikes, the better. We would obviously be better if we had them upgraded first before making copies, but we're not going to wait around and, and do that. We're just going to copy them as soon as we can. Uh, do you want to do any movement here? I don't think so. Eh. You know, we can draw an echo break next turn. It'll be worthwhile. Yeah, like, like, just like this, basically. Perfect. Uh, we're trying to mitigate as much damage on the bog flies as we can here. That's pretty good. Take another rail spike. Take you off here with a tomb. Rail spike. Can't kill anything here. Oh, it can actually. Check this out. Boom. We have also... Actually, we couldn't have even played it on the, the Entombed here. Okay. A little of that. Okay. This seems like a pretty strong run. Hopefully we don't see Party Boy, but even then I think we handle Party Boy pretty well on this run. Uh, Hallowed Halls is no good. These are all pretty bad, I think. Although, I guess Wickland's Recruitment does remove the sap from Seraph the Temperant. I don't know how relevant that's going to be, though. I think we'll be pretty fine without it. Yeah, I think this is just... A oh, you know what? Actually, Remnant Pact does consume. I will take this purely for the ability to consume, and that is all. Um, What do we want here? Versus can cost three energy, so our, our opening hand is pretty is pretty like uh, much. Oh, it's it's mostly zero cost cards anyway with the bounding echoes and stuff. I think we're okay to take card draw here first. We'll see how things are looking. Maybe we need more energy. I don't know. Yep. By the way, this is I think the first time I've ever I've ever first uh, ring turned these into improved rail spikes. I want to say. Which is very good news for us. Um, removals are cool. Artifact is good, but the Worm Commander is worthless here. I would not hate a holdover for Drip Fall so we can make sure that our our Bursican doesn't die. We took the we took the uh, the Wickless Baron Infusion for HP purposes as well, but that would just make me feel a lot better. Then we go over here. Double stack. I mean, double stack's fine. <laughs> double stack's actually kind of cool. I don't hate taking that. If we can just draw. If we can just draw through the deck fast enough, this is effectively held over. I'm I'm okay with this. I think actually. Go to here. Definitely take more. We're going all the way on Marsh Lord today. We're we're etching it out. Uh, 
spell shield does kind of matter here, but all I guarantee you, all the hastes are going to have the damage shield thing already. Let, let's just be safe. Let's try to let's be the safest we can be. Um. We do this still. Get the hatch again. We just kill you, let you guys come up top here. Let's try to tank you up. Oh, uh, okay. So we're wiping the floor, which is good news. I think, though... Hmm. Just looking, just looking. How do we mitigate damage here? I think we, like, put you down. Put a train sword down here just to kill you. Something like that looks pretty good to me. Kill you. I don't think we entombed here. I think we just go for, uh... Max purple. Okay. Uh, no one's dying pre relentless, so we're just playing this as a consume. And I think we're doing like a uh, little of this. You should be dying now, good. I do want to pick off your spell shield, but I also want to get the etch up top floor. Now the etch isn't that valuable anymore. I think we do this. We try to kill you next turn with a with a plank cope floor, not a plank like an echo break. There we go, see? Boom. Go. That is so far so good. We have, we have no way to stop the haste coming up, which is unfortunate. Would have loved to stall for a little bit of extra time. But well, instead, we'll play double tombs. And a train steward. Drip. Nay, nay. We do it all. Cool. Um... And this is pretty easy, I think, I would say. Worm can etching. We dupe it. We now have effectively infinite uh, etches. Resin removal. Obvious take here, if you ask me. We need to make sure we can uh, handle Crystal Cloak if we see it. And then also against Sarah the Temperant is also really good. And it's it's just good. It's, it's always good. You can't change your mind. Now, we're going left side here as a pretty easy left side because we need to reduce the cost of this Worm can etching. Reduce the cost... Dupe it, and we're set for life. We could also, if we're lucky, maybe we see like an intrinsic value stone in here. And we do that instead. That would be unbelievably good. But we'll see. Colonel Stone, absolutely not. Nothing that we wanted in here. Um, but that's fine. You remove train stewards. Man, uh, oh god, a value, a value, a value intrinsic would have been unbelievably strong in this temple. But I'm not, you know, not that I'm complaining. Would have been good. Um, bounding it because there's just one extra etch on the starting round, but we don't need that. I don't think. Keep keep surge so many the echo breaks. You do love to see it. Lower this. Roll it. Damn. Can we... Maybe the cavern gives us money here, because holdover would be pretty cool. There's a lot of good, you know, a lot of good holdover choices, specifically... Probably just echo transfer is our best holdover choice. Um, Does the cavern event give us money? Can we trade HP for something? No, we get Sunderstone instead, which is also very good. <laughs> We'll slap that on first if can be pretty happy here. Sapstone, uh, you know, we have the Endless Tome. You could argue that maybe we're supposed to, like, 
do an entombed explosive uh endless tome sapstone play here i'm just gonna take the melee weakness because it's simple and, and and it's good as well so yeah um Lower you to zero. Surge on another echo break. Now we just now we just dupe uh dupe where I'm can etching once or maybe even as many times as we can basically. And we should be good from here. Probably take an energy upgrade next, or we need to go to a more spell shops and lower the cost of our echo breaks. Because I'm worried we're gonna get hands where we have like just too many wormkin etchings. So yeah. We're not working anymore. Too many, too many echo breaks, and we don't have enough energy to play them. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, anything we want from the temple? Not really. Not really here. It's not even crystal cloak. You're a coward, crystal cloak. Face me in the octagon. Um, I don't think armor is a problem here. I think we can take this trial. We're pretty we're pretty broke on cash we don't we don't hate seeing a little bit more money a little of this this down get the hatchies definitely echo break you I think we're supposed to remnant pact. <laughs> you're immune because you're cardless. No. Oh well. Not a, not a huge deal. Um. Your fall doesn't do much here for us. There's a lot of damage coming in though, but I'm not too worried. Look at that, see? Nothing to worry about. There we go. I should have played into mid floor there. That was a mistake. That would've that would have saved me a lot of HP. Uh what's Wormkin etching? So we have so many etch cards, it's going to be hard to guarantee that we draw the right ones, if that makes sense. Um, and by that, I mean, we're not going to, we might, we probably, there's a good chance we're not going to be able to even cycle, uh, worm, uh, what's it called? Wormkin etchings? I think that's okay. I don't think it's a big deal if we don't cycle them. A little of this. Soul Siphon, not very good here. Is more or less meaningless. We'll do this though. And I would prefer to pick you guys off if we could, but we can't here, which kind of sucks. We will play Entombed Explosives. Yeah, we output a ton of damage though, so yeah, we're, we still win this. Oh, it's a little dicey. It is certainly a little bit dicey here. Uh, how 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 far do we want to go with this? Is the question? Because I I think actually Total Recall isn't that good here anymore. We're 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 consuming just fine, thank you. I don't think we need to consume our primitive molds and echo transfers and echo infusions as well. I think we're fine here. You can even argue actually that Resonance is pretty good in this deck. I think it's fine. I think it's a fine pickup for us here. Just a nice backline killer. Molten Entrapment. Looks a lot worse when we have this sick drip fall. I'm going to skip that as well. Ooh, now it's interesting, right? Got some money on the right side and a merchant trinkets. We have the spell shop, which I care a lot more about. We're going to go over here. Sketches, huh? You're gonna give me sketches here. No. I refuse. Dun Echo is also not that good in this deck. I think I actually would just want the money. These are both pretty trash relics, if I'm being honest. Well, for this situation, not in general. They're actually both pretty good. Um. Let's 
Here's an interesting thought. I actually don't hate Wormkin etching here. Uh, remove consume. Like I was saying before, we have so many consume cards, it's going to be really hard to uh, cycle the, the Wormkin etchings. You could just un unconsume it. And then it'll it'll just stay in the deck. But the problem is I want to dupe this, and I don't want several of them having remove consume and dupe. Because then it's like kinda it's kinda iffy. We might get like turns where we just have multiple of them in our hands and we just can't do much. So I think I wanna stick to the uh the eight billion copies plan. For now. We're gonna go hell we're gonna dupe it, we're gonna go hell we're gonna dupe it. Um in case divinity is pretty good if we get holdover for the echo transfer here. Mm, I like reducing this to one as well. Maybe we want to actually hold over uh hold over resonance here though. It's kind of a tough choice, I feel like. So this is fine. Not worth the money though, I don't think. We have nothing we can double stack. Perfect. Yeah, let's just do this. Get a truce and I'll be happy to have it zero costed. Hmm. A little of this, a little of that. You come here. There you go. Okay. Note to sell. Do not play this on Kano's Pupa. He's immune. <laughs> Just put this here. It doesn't really matter where we play it. I guess I... Uh, what's in our consume pile right now? I want to get more cards that are not Soul Siphon in here because Soul Siphon is our worst consume spell right now. Maybe I should no, I shouldn't remove. Should I remove Soul Siphon from the deck actually? Hmm. It gives us a bunch of Jo Crystals, but I feel like it's pretty bad. I'll think about it. Kill you. Should have played Rail Spike on you first, it's my bad. Let's put this here. Pretty sure I got Soul Siphon back, right? Yeah. Make everyone endless. Okay. As long as we survive this combat, this is all going to come together once we get the uh, the Bog Worm in. Which is why I really like this build, too. I I, I think that this is, like... I, I like, I like uh, Marsh Lord. And I really like... Uh, just, just etching... Edge strategies in general are pretty fun. Take a while to play, but they're cool. Get yeah, that melee weakness on you there too. Okay. Um, what can we do here? I guess we could drift you down. No, I want you dying for sure. We just drift you. Just keep etching as much as we can. Everyone's harvesting here. Fuck. This wave is not actually a threat. We'll put it here. This little son of a gun's making it through, huh? Damn. Uh... Okay. You didn't die, what the hell? It's crazy. 
thought you were dead. Let's... Uh, there's no reason to resin removal anywhere, whatever. That's a good drip fall. Although it's not... Oh, no, it's actually good because you burn out. Okay. We do lose our melee weakness that we have stacked here, but that's like, you know, whatever. Okay. We win this, right? Oh, it's a little dicey again, but we get there. Okay. This becomes a, a cakewalk, though, once we, uh... Once we pop this, though. Intent on death? Here's the thing that we have... We don't have... I think you need an extinguish trigger to, trigger to target target with this. We'll take Wormkin Spike, because it is another consume spell. Uh, I think we take... I, uh, I think we take card draw. We're not, I'm not actually having too many difficulties with, the, with playing our hand out right now. I think this is a little bit better. Easy right side. Uh, Cheater's Hand's kind of cool. Kind of like a weird permafrost sort of thing. Inscription notice, we don't have room for the unit, so it's pretty worthless. Do this. We will duplicate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, do we have a temple here? We do have a temple. Give me twin stone. Give me twin stone. You coward. It's like a true stone, though. That's pretty good. What's our last ring here? It's another temple. Okay. I will... Duplicate the worm connecting. We get Marsh Lord 3, and we just absolutely go ham now. I think we need... To, well, we'll see here. We, we need to see how close we are to hatching with the... Uh... Oh, I think we... Did we take this? The, the worm... Hey, Bogworm? Bogworm, you got trample? Hold on a second. Oh, we're trampled by default, right? That's like a whole thing. I'm not losing my mind here. You have tra you have base trample. Okay, we I think we can take the trial here. Because I was worried about the waves where it's like the, the birds at first. Even though the armor's a little bit scary, but if we just trample through, we'll be fine. Hard to return. Mm. Probably remnant pact here. I probably ac actually, eh, yeah, let's go remnant pact. So we do this, do this, bingo, bango, ah cha cha. Yeah, we get the turn one hatch now. It is pretty close though. So I think we, I think we do keep it around. Uh, what do we, what do we send away? Probably, probably like I don't know, Ripfall. So we use our we use our one purple Jo crystal here to echo and fuse up for sure. Hit you and we can't endless the bog worm. We'll endless you, my man. Um, I don't know. These are all very good cards. I believe Resonance is a, is a good play here as well. Do that. We will go Rail Spike, Rail Spike, Wormkin Etching. And then... You guys will hit for 20. Maybe we can get one of these Perma Days. I don't know. We'll see. Now you go up, please. One, thank you. Okay, um, this is a pretty good hand. Let's just keep pushing the train steward out. Uh, echo break kills here. I didn't want to play that, but I accidentally let go of the click, so that's my bad. Wanted to play the the. The thing that that endless is, but it's fine. It's no biggie. Keep putting train steward up top here. 
This is more damage than I thought would, would be coming in here, which is very scary. Um, I think we can consume our way through it, though. Look at that fucker. Oh, my God. It's incredible. Okay, well. We keep on managing to live, which is pretty cool. Would love to see where I'm can etching hit, where I'm can etching here. I don't think it did though. This is this is net gain. Keep pushing train steward away. I mean, we gotta kill the Light Wings here. Light Wings is doing a lot of damage if it hits. So I think we do this. I think we do... This. Into... This. Into this here. Okay. That kills you. I don't even know. Do we play Soul Siphon? No. I don't even want to play it. You can't make me play it. Uh, do you echo break you to give you a little bit of a buff here? I don't hate it, which is kind of funny, but I don't think we do that. Grip you, absolutely. You have burnout one? You burn out two. Okay, we don't play you then. Okay. Yeah, this was, this was, you know. The cool thing about Sunderstone is that the worm first of kin hits. Leaves Thunderstone behind, and then Worm can, or the uh, the Ball Worm gets the follow up hit and gets the melee weakness. So it's pretty. We we do big damage numbers right now. It's very good. Revenge of the Dam. Nah. Ambient charges may be pretty good here too. Actually, I should have probably taken the ambient charge there. We don't have much that we're doing with our Jo crystals, and we produce a lot of them too. So I don't know. Maybe a mistake. Uh, maybe Maybelline, who knows, right? I think we go right side here. I think we look at the temple, get a twin stone, because I'm cracked. God damn you. Just once, please give me a twin stone. Um, oh well. Maybe we get a Pyrosun housing in here, and then I feel like a genius. No, I'll take a Karuska. Karuska's pretty good right now. Karuska, roll it. Okay, there's Pyrosun housing. I feel like a genius. Get the Merchant of Steel. Hate all of these. Roll it. Uh, quick is, quick is pretty good. Quick is good because it's sort of like the same thing as before, but maybe we're, for a second we'll prevent some damage being dealt to the, uh, to the worm now, right? Because, like, here, here's how you should see it, right? Um. So, we'll have, we'll, I'll, we'll, it'll be easier to visualize since we're in the combat, so I'll show you then. Um, we do need to make sure we have enough shards, though, so we're gonna go in here. Put an extreme stone, I guess, on a rail spike. Like, whatever. Doesn't really matter too much to me. We go into the hell vent, and we go, hey, I would like another wormkin etching, please, if you don't mind, sir. And, yeah. So. That's what you do. Uh. Hmm. Put one of these back on top. I was just thinking about it. Should I have been playing just the units first and then playing like Bounding Echo Soul Siphon? We only get two Ember Drain for it. Have I been dumb actually this whole game? No, we get three Ember Drain. It's actually pretty bad because we, we, we get the Ember Drain for playing first of Kin first. Never mind. I think this is the right way to play it. Um. First of kin. Yep. Do this. I guess you just kill this man while you get the chance. Okay. So. The way this will kind of work, because we have quick on the first of kin. Um. 
Damn, these all kind of suck, but whatever. Because, because we have quick on the first skin, first skin will attack first and it'll leave melee weakness behind, giving Bogworm the chance to hit an enemy and, uh, and uh, you know, do double damage. Right? And and trample as well. So it, it It's better. Quick is better. It's not a huge upgrade, but it is certainly a slightly better upgrade. Hooray. Might be able to loop uh, etch loops here too if we get lucky and draw an etch. Or first, or worm we're, we're etching here. Yeah, there we go. Good. Let's put soul siphon. Or ah, let's just not play soul siphon. Actually, I think is the way to do this. We have three, so we go four, five. Worm can etching. We've begun the loop now. Should kill you. That only just makes sense to me. And we want to get we want to try to get better cards in the etch loop. So let's do this. Um, I forgot to spend money to remove. That was just for score, though. Is the thing that's just like a high level play you wouldn't understand. We do a little of this. Middle of this. Play. I, I'm not that one bounding that goes in here. Play that. Pass the turn. Ooh, okay. So now we have a rail spike in the mix. So instead, we will go one, two, we have three, so we have. We do a little four. Put this here. Five. Okay. I'm I'm pretty good with this loop here. I think we just keep this consistent. One, two, three. We just do one rail spike. Whatever, freak you, bud. There you go. Uh, we have more worm can etches. We only need one of them, though, so. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, okay. One. Two. I guess you can technically get an extra one in here. Hold on, yeah. We, we actually, with the worm connection, we can get one extra etch, I think. Maybe even more than one extra. Hold on. I think we can just set our... We can actually just stack our the top of our deck exactly how we want it. We'll do a little of this. Do this. Yeah, okay. Up to up to seven cards because we do have we, we're drawing eight but we're putting one back with cheater's hand. So we do. Maybe we can just basically just spit our you vomit our hand out here. It won't matter too much. Um. Ran out of energy. Played it in the wrong order. Me dumb. Oh well. We're we're winning this combat anyway, so I'm not not too too uh hung up about it here. That here. Okay. This worked well. Put you away. Kill you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, okay. Worm hits for a thousand damage. You love to see it. We go on to the Divinity, where we also shouldn't have much issue. One funny thing to note is that uh, Echo right here is going to eat shit and die. 
Ekara does not stand much of a chance here on this run. Um, I think it's funny. I don't know. Maybe you don't. Maybe you feel bad for our poor soldier. Um, do this still. Bingo, bango. I forgot about Karuska. That's sick. Okay. Get to play Echo Break 2 then. We pre hatch here, which I wasn't even expecting. Pretty easy play, just boom. 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 I guess let's put this away for now. We do need to make sure our man here doesn't die. I guess we can make him endless too, but we don't have room to play him afterwards because the bog worm takes up four space. Mm. Not much point in incanting there. We're just taking extra damage for no reason. Putting this back up. I wonder if we're supposed to not play etch cards here so that way we can uh, get a loop going, but I don't think we have to do that. I think we can just play this pretty normally. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Echo Ray, Echo Ray is unfortunately dropping this turn. Hmm. We can kill you, but you have the spell shield, which is a little annoying. We actually can't kill him, I don't think. Yeah, damn. Uh. You need your spell shield out, though. We don't, we don't. We didn't put any reap on you. Damn, I, I misplayed that actually pretty bad. We should have. We should have played it. We should have played the uh, the X for the reap there because we played it for zero. Yeah, never mind. That was dumb of me. Um, well, let's put the curse. Uh, let's put the curse down on top. No reason for that really. I'm surprised this isn't doing more. Put these out of the deck. I, I thought the melee weakness there would have actually like been really strong. Hold on. Are we losing? Wait one second. Would we do this? I think the first thing we do is try to Wormkin etching back another Wormkin etching here. We have two in the pile. I think we might have hit one, but I don't know. Well, let's take a look. No, we whiffed. Well, no, we got we got one. We got one of them. Okay, good. I think we actually just leave this alone. Right now. See, now we have a, now we have a loop going. Perfect. Okay. Because right, we should have... Okay, good. Wormkin etching. Bring those back. Ancient Resonance here is going to be very useful. Happy to have that here. We... Will... Echo Break. What do we have in the pile right now? We have... Okay, yeah, we should, we should play these out. Should maybe be even proactive and try to and peel off some shields here. And we'll do it next turn. This is actually close enough. I thought this was going to be like just a, a, a trample. Like just a complete total stomp here. This is not as easy as I, as I thought it was. Okay, what do we have in there right now? We have five in. Let's do that. Make sure we get a couple more. Uh, 
Hmm. You do a little, little. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. We get Ember Drain too. Ugh. That's annoying. Put you on top. Oh, uh, what's in there right now? Just Bremkin. Okay. This, which helps a lot. We are we good? I don't know if we're actually. I, I uh, Bogworm does pretty well in the Relentless Combat, but this wave is going to be pretty tricky. Actually, we might have to go. Ah, uh, we need the etches for the HP though. I think on top floor. Okay. I think we'll pull through here. One of these back on top. Oh, it's, it's, it's dicey, but we get there. Okay. I think the... Hmm. Kill you, I think yeah, that becomes a lot better too. You just play these. And now even now even First of Kin lives. Hooray. Yeah, that that, that divinity combo was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. But uh we got there. Hooray. Very cool, very cool. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh I will see you next time. Goodbye. Except for the seed. Hold on. <laughs> The seed, very important. I must give you the seed. Oh, I know what the I know what the the thumbnail is gonna be too now. Oh yeah. Well, I, I I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I know what the approximate idea for the the AI generated thumbnail will be, and I'm very excited. Um. Yada yada. What do we got here? Wellness Cricket Luggage. Interesting seed. Goodbye.